Hey everyone, this is Jordan, Nick, and Robert from Shadowway Systems, and today we're going to show you how to take apart and clean a computer. Hey guys, and our first step today is going to be disconnecting the actual PC. So if you just look right over here, we have it plugged in, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly disconnect this. So. Well, once you have everything disconnected, it is now time to put the computer on a plausible working surface. Um, the edge of a desk wouldn't count as a plausible wooden surface. Um, typically a bed would be nice, um, you know, or nice metal legs that you have there. Also one important feature is before you begin working with any machine, it's also good and important to like touch the size or anything to what's called grounding yourself to the machine. And this is to get yourself acquainted with the machine so you don't emit um, ESD. Electrostatic discharge, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> That's now, just so you don't fry the inner components. Now I'm going to lift this on my bed and we're going to work it from there. Alright, once your computer is on your work area, you're going to want to find and take off the side of the computer that's removable. It's usually the one opposite of the motherboard. If you don't know where that is, um, basically just look around. Uh, this should be, some of them have little screws like this, where you just like take out. Make sure you don't lose them. Yeah, put them in a... If you have like a little area to put them, like a little cup or something. Right now we're just going to use that table over there. And then... So once the screws are out, or once the, anything restraining the cover is out, you can lift and put in somewhere. If you have anything connected, you're going to want to disconnect that. So we'll do that right now. Disconnect that. Sometimes you have to yank them real hard. <clears throat> Alright, there you go. So, we'll just put this over here for now. Alright, so once you have your case open, uh, you're going to see a mess of wires and silicon and all this stuff. Basically, this is a brief overview of what's inside most computers. Uh, we have the power supply up here. You do not want to take that apart. Uh, that's where all the cables come from that lead to the different components. This is a heat sink. It goes above the processor. This one, well, this specific case is a gaming uh, case, so this is pretty uh, hefty. You don't see that in most computers, or all of them. This is the main chassis fan that basically just like flows the air through the chassis to make sure the different components don't overheat. Down here we have the RAM. I don't know if you can see that. Here we have two sticks of DDR2 RAM pretty basic here not all motherboards have this either but um that's a motherboard heatsink with a fan on top pretty good Can now most people will not have this but uh this is a Nvidia 9800 GT graphics card X plus yeah no say 9800 GTX plus say that 9800 GTX plus okay he's very defensive and it has its own power cord and all that down here you also see uh, the he has two hard drives here um, most people have one but whatever and then up here we have the disk drives pretty basic uh, not all chassises will be arranged this way so you basically just have to like learn how yours works Alright, so first step of cleaning it, actual cleaning, um, if you have like a fan on the outside, usually you'll see collected dust like this if you don't clean it for a while. So the best methods of cleaning it are, Nick, a Q-tip if you have them laying around and also Q-tips are good. Some compressed air, but this generally is not an idea I choose to use for the outside component as it sprays the uh, dust around like that and it gets all over your outside thing and then you have so streaks. not a good idea. Also you could use a rag which is very simple because you just like boom there clean. But for detail Nick Easy. likes to use a Q-tips as it allows you to get under each individual component and actually take out some of the dust 
That's stuck in there. That's stuck in there. So yeah, that's that part. Um, a good way to clean out your computer is to use uh, this compressed air. You can usually find it at Office Max or your local office store. Um, what you do is you just go like that. You just clean it out. Usually you don't do it in a room because then the dust will just go back into the computer. Best so way to usually, do it is outside. Just, exactly. Yeah. Best way to do it is outside. But usually you go like this and dust comes out. Uh, right here he has a lot of dust in the fans. So I'm just going to clean it out. And as you can see, as I'm... Yeah. Uh, for this video, we're not really going to take apart much, considering this is a very basic uh, introductory cleaning computer. Uh, next time, we're going to take apart everything and show you how to clean more in-depth. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching Shadow Systems basic computer cleaning video. For more information, please check out the sidebar and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.